It's faster. 4.2 times faster than Omicron. Stronger. It's succeeding very well as a virus. And it's here. Dr. Shane Fernando is a clinical epidemiologist at the UNT Health Science Center. He says to think of the Omicron variant as the parent virus. The BA4 and BA5 subvariants are its kids, and BA5 is really acting up. It's responsible for the COVID waves happening throughout the world. It carries the regular Omicron symptoms like congestion, a sore throat, a cough, fatigue, but there's more. We've started getting anecdotal evidence that there is anosmia. The worst kind of throwback. It's something that we haven't seen in a while. It was very prevalent with the Delta variant. Dr. Another Fernando Delta says BA5 stands up against immunity and other protection. These two subvariants are just very good at infecting people, but that severity of disease is determined by whether or not you're vaccinated. The DFW Hospital Council says right now there are 753 COVID patients in hospitals in our region. That number has been slowly but steadily trickling up. And I want you to think about May 1st, less than three months ago, before all of our summer holidays and travel plans. That number was 145, less than 20% of what we see right now. The council says most of those people are unvaccinated. The CDC placed Tarrant, Dallas, and Collin counties in a high risk level, recommending masks indoors. Denton County went from low to medium last week. The thing to remember is this virus is still here. It's still infecting people and it's still killing people. Slowing it down, he says, is and has always been up to us. In Fort Worth, I'm Morgan Young.